Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine um, what angles are complementary and which angles are supplementary given a figure. So I am going to do complementary with blue, supplementary with red. And that's going to hopefully avoid me having to write complementary and supplementary so many times so the video will go a little bit quicker. Because you can see I have four diagrams. And while the first one kind of seems pretty simple, um, kind of moving forward, it can kind of I'm going to be writing down quite a bit of angles um, here for it. So, the, if the main thing we want to remember with complementary and supplementary angles is that complementary angles, blue, add up to 90 degrees, and supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. The best way that I kind of remember them is supplementary angles make up a line, complementary angles add up to a right degree, which a lot of times we represent a right degree with a little bit of box, which is basically like half of a line, right? If you're going to continue that line, let's see, here we go. Here's a full line. Half of that is a 90 degree angle, right? Um, so that's kind of the way that I remember. Supplementary is a line. Complementary is that box, which is 90 degrees. So when identifying complementary and some supplementary angles, you know, we want to look for the box or we want to look for a line. So in this first example, you can see that I have a line. And now again, we don't have any measurements up here. And that was done on purpose because if there's measurements, we could easily just see which angles add up to 180 degrees, which would be supplementary, and then which, which angles add up to 90 degrees, which would be complementary. So we don't have any angles here. We're just purely going off of lines and the boxes. Okay? So in this first example, you can see that I don't have any 90 degrees here. Nobody's, nothing's showing that there's 90 degrees. So I'm not going to have any complementary. However, I can see that these t this, I have a straight angle and that these two angles add up to made up, make up that straight angle. So therefore, my supplementary angles are going to be angle ACB and angle DCB. And just remember, I'm going to you know, write my angle in one way. There's multiple ways to write the angle. Instead of saying ACB, you could have said BCA. Instead of DCB, you could have said BCD. As long as your vertex is C, uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to pick and choose which way I want to write them. But just remember, if you wrote them, do them a different way, that's OK, as long as you have the vertex is the same. Um, but that's it. So we only have one pair of supplementary angles, nothing else. So let's go to the next example over here. Um, you can see here now I have uh, a box. But the problem is, yeah, that's 90 degrees. But I don't have two angles that add up to give me that 90 degrees. However, since I have a straight line, if this is 90 degrees, that means this over here also has to be 90 degrees. And you can see that I have two angles that form that 90 degree angle. So therefore, I have two angles that are complementary. So I can say that angle FJG and angle HJG, those are going to be complementary because the sum of those two angles are going to add up to 90 degrees because that has to be 90 degrees as that is 90 degrees. For supplementary angles, I'm going to look for angles that are going to make up a straight line. You can see that I have two straight lines. I have this straight line and I have this straight line. So um, I can do this a couple different ways. Let's actually do this line here. You can see that I have angle EJF. So this angle and that angle make up a straight line. And angle GJF, those two angles are supplementary. So EJF and GJF, those make up a straight line. I could also do these two angles to make up this straight line. So I could say angle FJE and angle EJI. So FJE and EJI, those two angles make up a straight angle. So that's so I said these two are supplementary, these two are supplementary. Then over here, I have a couple different ways. I could do the 290 degrees. So I could say that angle IJH and so I could say IJH and H, H, um, HJF and angle H. JF are complementary. Um, I could also do the, I could also do this obtuse angle, this angle, and then that angle as well. So I could do angle IJG and F FJG and FJG. So you can see here, there's a quite a bit of um, supplementary angles here in this case. Um, so adds in a lot, right? So you just want to make sure we um, uh, just are careful and make sure you kind of label them as many as possible. So there's only one pair that were complementary, but there was four pairs of angles that were supplementary. Um, so now let's look at an enclosed figure over here. Um, so in closed figure, you just don't have any of the lines, you know, are extended. You have a closed in figure. 
However, one way that might help you out is, you know, you could always extend the lines um, to kind of help you visualize a little bit better. And I'm not going to do this for this figure because it's kind of a crazy figure here. But a lot of times, you know, when we're doing angle relationships, I like to extend the lines so I can see those angle relationships. But the main important thing here that I see is I have a 90 degree angle, which is not being partitioned, it's not being cut up. But then I have this 90 degree angle, which is being cut up. So I know that these two angles, whatever their measure is, I know that they're going to add up to 90 degrees. So therefore, I know that they are complementary. So I can write these angles just by labeling their points. KLP is going to be this angle. So I could say angle KLP, KLP is complementary with PLM, which would be this angle. So angle PLM. Now, as far as supplementary angles, now again, notice that those two angles, yeah, they're adjacent, right? Um, but remember, supplementary, supplementary complementary angles do not have to be adjacent angles. So, you know, it's been kind of difficult. That's why I wanted to choose this figure because obviously, hey, these two are supplementary, they share that side, right? These two were complementary, they share that side. But that's not always the case. The definition of supplementary and complementary, uh, supplementary angles are just two angles that add up to 180. They don't have to be adjacent. Complementary angles, two angles that add up to 90, they don't have to be adjacent. It's very common that they are going to have adjacent sides, but it's just not always necessary. You notice that this angle, KLM, is 90 degrees. This angle, KON or KOM, is also 90 degrees. Well, if you have two 90 degree angles, those are add up to 180, so they're supplementary. So I can say my supplementary angles here is angle KOM and angle KLM are going to be my two supplementary angles. Again, supplementary is in red, complementary is in blue. All right, so let's do the last one here. Um, and this last one, I apologize. Uh, we're going to have a lot going on here. So the main important thing in this case is you can see that there is no 90 degree angles, right? We can't verify that there's no boxes and there's nothing that says that anything's 90 degrees. So we're not going to have any complementary. However, we are going to have quite a bit of, uh, we're going to have quite a bit of supplementary angles because you can see that these two angles, make a straight line. So therefore, they're going to add up to 180, so it's supplementary. So let's just do this measure of angle QR, I'm sorry, oops, QZR, QZR and R and, sorry, not measure of angle, just angle, and angle, let's do RZS. Those are complementary. We could also do these bottom two. So these two angles, the bottom two angles, so I could do, and then I could do QZW or QZU. Let's just, doesn't matter which one, let's just do QZW and angle Q, I'm sorry, and let's do angle WZS. So QZW and WZS, those two are complementary, are supplementary. Then we also have these two up top and these two. So we have angle QZR, QZR, and QZW. So angle QZW, QZR, QZW. Then I also have these two are also complementary. Angle RZS and angle SZW, SZW. You know what? This one's kind of a little bit. Uh, well, I guess I can do the rest of them. I mean, let's not be lazy, right? So we have four up there. Now let's do the other four. So the other four, I'm just going to use, I'll use black. And let's do orange. So I have these two angles, these two angles. Okay. So actually, I'll do these one at a time. So I have angles V, W, Z, and angle Z, W, T. I have these two angles which would be angle V, W, U, and angle U, W, T. Then I have these two angles. So that's going to be angle Z, W, V, and U, W, V, and angle U, W, V. Then I have these two angles. Now, again, they're different colors and they're different points aligned. So I'm just trying to 
I'm not trying to make sure that those are congruent. I'm not saying they're congruent. Um, I'm just trying to show that those two are the same that I'm talking about, but they're different colors. So that means they're all different measures. Um, and that's going to be angle. Let's do Z, W, T, and angle U, W, T. Oh, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is an example of all the complementary and supplementary angles from a figure. Thanks.